Hey everybody, uh, I wanted to give you a little bit of a tour of our classroom, one of the classrooms that we've developed here at the college. Uh, we spent a lot of time thinking about what the classroom in the future might look like. Um, when this classroom started, we basically had a lot of rows, we had a podium up front. Um, we took everything out and sort of uh, tried to think about what might a, a classroom in the future or a technology, te technologically enhanced classroom look like. Um, you should also know that we basically set up and designed this class. We wanted to create something that uh, inspired divergent thinking, it inspired creativity. Um, we wanted something that really didn't have a front to the classroom. We wanted something that made the educator feel pedagogically uncomfortable. Um, so for some people, this is an educational Rorschach test. Some people don't like the setup of this classroom. I enjoy it, I'm still trying to figure it out. So. One of the first things that you'll notice is there's no real front to the classroom. Um, we basically have the traditional smart board set up with the projector. Um, this is as close to being the front of the classroom that you'll get, but the alignment of the classroom, you realize that there really is no true front. So typical smart board, uh, really nice unit, no issues with it, but that's pretty standard. The teaching station or the hub is over here. So at the teaching station, basically touch screen device, here's your typical PC, Crestron box that can control the room and set things up. And then underneath, pretty much normal stuff. We have a lot of extra stuff down here, a lot of video streaming, but nothing really crazy. Um, nothing that you need to use. Uh, dock cam, but pretty much normal stuff to, uh, up to this point. Uh, like I said, touch screen, controller for all of those materials. Um, but then the real exciting stuff happens with the alignment and layout of the classroom. So we have basically four pods. Each pod has about six chairs. Uh, we have one pod that's a little bit higher, one pod that's a little bit lower. Uh, we wanted the, the stadium seating in the classroom. Uh, but basically six chairs per pod. Each pod has its own display. Uh, each pod also has in the middle of the desk we basically have an outlet so that students can plug in during class and recharge. We have an ethernet cord so students can basically plug in and get to a, a nice, strong, quick connection if the Wi-Fi is not working well. HDMI, VGA, headphone adapter, or basically the audio outlet and a Crestron box. The nice thing is as the teacher, what I can do is I can basically take the students can sit here they can use this box to display to that unit uh, to that screen and if i want to i can with my controls take that screen and basically put that up on the main display or what i'll do is i'll have students sit here they'll plug in display here and then if they want to display to the whole class i can push a button or two on my box and send their display everywhere um, so that's awesome other things I really love about this classroom, uh, one, uh, we encourage students to bring their own devices, so we don't really have any built-in PCs or built-in computers here. We have a, a laptop cart set up, so students can basically come in for classes, take out a laptop. We also have uh, a cart full of iPad minis so that we can have some building, some video, some stop motion animation, and then we have a cart over in the corner full of Kindles. So pretty much have anything that students would want to use in here. Um, and the idea is that they basically come in for class, pull it out, on you know, plug in their devices, and they can get online. Uh, a couple other things I want to showcase in here. Um, so one of the things I also wanted, we wanted when we set this thing up, is we wanted to be able to video conference people in and out of the classroom. So if we want to bring in an outside speaker, if we wanted to have an opportunity for students to come in virtually for class, what you'll notice is in the room, we basically had these really, really nice uh, cameras. The camera can basically, we have one here that will zoom into the front of the class. I can move uh, via remote control where the camera is pointing. We also have another one up here in the front. So basically I have a camera in the back facing forward, a camera up front facing out, and I have two uh, nice array mics in the ceiling that pick up audio. So there's speakers that can bring the audio or video conferencer in, but then also what's nice is we have really nice mics to pick up audio and comments from students, and then I can show video of the students in the class. 
So we can video conference somebody in, we can all see, and then students have good line of sight to see on their displays as well. But then the nice thing is that somebody that's video conferencing in, they can basically see pretty much everyone in the room thanks to those cameras. The camera also, uh, the classroom is also a great place to do uh, recordings like this, a great place to do demo lessons for teachers. So it's pretty much a lot of different uses and it has you think a little bit more critically about the layout of the classroom, the spaces in the classroom, technology and devices uh, in the classroom and how you teach in that environment. Um, still trying to figure out the best way to use the tool, but it's uh, a great opportunity for me to think about my pedagogy. So thanks a lot.